What's up everybody? In today's video, I will be telling you why it was actually a smart decision for the Green Bay Packers to deny Eric Stoltz' fifth year option. Now, coming into the 2024 offseason, the Green Bay Packers had a lot of decisions to make in terms of contracts. They let go of three safeties, their starting linebackers now with the 49ers, two offensive linemen are on different teams, and Aaron Jones went to the Minnesota Vikings. We all know that the Green Bay Packers will be giving Jordan Love his long-term contract, which now left it on Aristos of what they're going to do for the future. And to me, honestly, I had a feeling that they were going to deny his fifth-year option. Coming in in 2021 as a rookie, he started 14 games. And to be honest with you, he looked like a very promising cornerback to be on the opposite side of Jair Alexander. If you look at his stats over here, he gave up 49 0.5% completion percentage, three touchdowns, and 14 games starting with a 71.3% QBR rating. When I was watching him play in his rookie season, I thought he was like Jair 2.0. We had the cornerback room locked down and the defense was looking bright in the future. Now coming into 2022, he had a subpar sophomore year in which after starting nine games, he hurt his ankle and went to the IR. But if you see in this nine game starting, he gave up 80% completion percentage, one touchdown, and a quarterback rating when targeted of 123.5. That is not the best sophomore season to have, but we all know that you know, sophomore slumps do happen. He eventually wasn't able to start the season in 2023 healthy so he was on the um, unable to perform list then he got activated out of that list and then around october just to be put on the ir about four days later then he got reactivated and became healthy played against the buccaneers and Baker Mayfield not only threw a perfect passer rating against the Green Bay Packers, but Baker Mayfield was 4 for 4 against Eric Stokes and had a perfect passer rating against him. Talk about, I don't know if that came by just Joe Barry's zone heavy defense or maybe Eric Stokes maybe forced himself too fast into the field from his injury, but Things did not look great against the Carolina Panthers as I damn near thought Kevin King was on the field against the Carolina Panthers. That's how bad he looked against the Panthers to where the Green Bay Packers organization just put him in the IR and shut him down for the season. Bryce Young threw two touchdowns on him and, and in two games starting, two games starting, Gave up 75% completion percentage and three touchdowns with a 145.3 QBR rating when targeted. Three touchdowns and two games starting. He's pretty much averaging and giving up one and a half touchdowns per game, which pretty much equates to nine points because we're not including the point extra attempt. So six points. He is pretty much giving up nine points a game in his two in his two starts in 2023. Being placed in the IR three times in two years, having a subpar and kind of sophomore slump, and having a subpar 2023 season, you cannot justify the Packers giving him the fifth year option and paying him $11 million, especially when they're thinking about giving Jordan Love top 10, top five money. This was a smart decision for the Green Bay Packers. And I know there are reports saying that Eric Stokes looks healthy, but in my opinion, if they were going to deny the fifth year option, I kind of wish they went cornerback a bit early, um, but I do have faith in Kalen King. I do think that he will be a bright young star by him falling from a first round prospect to the seventh round, but this is about Eric Stokes and I just, I just can't justify nor can the Green Bay Packers organization just justify giving him $11 million for a cornerback that had a subpar 2023 season, sophomore slump in 2022, being placed on the IR three times in the past two years. 
the Green Bay Packers did a smart decision, and by them just denying the fifth-year option, this is a make-or-break season for Eric Stokes. Do I think he will come back as a Green Bay Packer? I don't know. The 2024 season will tell if he'll come back or not. The only way that I believe that Eric Stokes can't come back if he probably plays at like an all-pro, Pro Bowl level, I can definitely see the Green Bay Packers maybe giving him a year or a two-year deal, maybe an incentives-only deal, kind of what they did to Darnell Savage a little bit, kind of give him the extra year to see what's going on. But I'm starting to think that this might be his last year. I'm hoping this all comes down to him just being healthy. If he could be healthy, play every single game, be the lockdown corner that he showed in his rookie season, Pro Bowl level, lockdown, wins the CB2 spot, and has a great year, I can definitely see Eric Stokes coming back. But I think it's a little bit too late. I might be talking early, but in all in all, this was a very smart decision by the Green Bay Packers. And time will only tell if Eric Stokes will have a back bounce season to be back with the Green Bay Packers next year. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I make content every Mondays and Friday. So thank you so much for watching and see you next week.